beekeeping in Alberta is a big industry and we actually produce about 60% of Canada's honey. And Canada's you know, way up there in terms of global production of honey. So what we do here is significant. My grandpa originally bought the property that we're on in the 60s and um, my dad and him were actually hobby beekeepers in Calgary. They started off with about 10 hives in a garage in Wildwood. We're actually a fairly small scale operator as far as what um, happens in Alberta here. We run about 350 to 400 hives mm -hmm. on an annual basis. I think it's cool that we got honey because um, I know you're passionate about bees. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, honey is one of those things where we're going to have to work at it to make it the star, right? Yeah, so. and to make it savory, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Flavor of the environment that you're, that it, it's coming from. The, the florals are a portion of it, the weather storms knock out what floral sources, all of those sorts of things play a role into it. A lot of people forget, like, you know, we're in the prairies and, you know, we've got great lakes and rivers and I really wanted to be able to showcase some of that. So um, I thought, you know, bringing some pickerel that's from northern Alberta would be awesome to try to use and challenging as well with the honey. So yeah. I thought maybe we could use some of that honey um, and some of the sugar and also some of that meat and maybe we could cure some of that pickerel oh, with it. Awesome. And then maybe, um, you know, crispy pan seared one of um, the other pieces with it and maybe I could deglaze it a little bit with the honey and a bit of the meat as well too and sort of glaze it with yeah. that. I love the idea of using it in, in two applications just to show how versatile it yeah. is. So I brought some red fife, thought that we could do a bannock and use some of his uh, hopped mead um, as the, the liquid component of the bannock. Bannock, I know, is a huge part of, of the Aboriginal cuisine. And why don't we um, turn the blueberries into a bit of like a, a gastrique or, or some kind of like reduced sauce and maybe do a spread as well just to, to add a little bit more acidity to the dish been a lot of, it, yeah, it's a lot of experimenting, which is the fun part about it. Yeah. It's like the culinary world. You're, you're just looking for different flavor profiles. What could be really neat is I could take some of that honey and uh, some of the mead and we could sort of make little honey pearls so they I love that. A little bit of um, caviar as well, too. Honey is stable for thousands of years for a reason because there's not a really complicated nutrient base to it. Our honey is, our honey is, I feel very unique.